Uh, we're all here today, family and friends, in a place that is so Chelsea and Max, to bear witness as they exchange their vows and are married. We share with them their delight in finding love with each other and to support them as they enter into this special union. Maxwell, I stand here incredibly excited for our adventure to begin and more in love with you than ever before, which is something I never thought possible. Chelsea, you freaking rock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to quote John Lennon, as usual, there is a great woman standing with every idiot. And you are the greatest woman in the world. <laughs> Dear Chelsea, the day is finally here. The day we've been dreaming about since the day we first met eyes in high school. But seriously, we have been waiting for and anticipating this very moment for months and months. And here we are. It's a perfect day and a perfect place with an absolutely perfect you and me. I'm so excited. But I have to say, I'm the most excited to see you walk down the aisle and blow everyone away. Let's savor this moment, take some time to ourselves as much as we can, but most importantly, have fun. This is our special day, and one that we will never forget. I love you forever and ever. I'll meet you down by the turkeys. See you soon. I love you. I'm Chelsea. I, there's so many great things I could say about you. You know, you're my own kid, so I could brag for days. But um, the thing that I say to everybody is you are the best friend anyone could ever have. The best teammate, the best soulmate, truly the best friend anyone could ever have. You're strong, loyal, and determined, and sometimes a little bit fierce. She can get a little bit fierce, and that's not a bad thing. That's a really good thing. It's been a beautiful thing to see Max evolve as a person. He's always working to improve himself, and I really appreciate that in him. Maxwell, my brother, my commandant and companion and advisor, I love you, and I'm incredibly happy for both of you. Max, for a long time, I didn't think it was possible for any man to be deserving of Chelsea. But here you are. <laughs> to say you're an equally caring and loving person would be an understatement. We're continuously touched to witness the way you care and admire for our dear Chelsea. It's been a pleasure getting to know you and to become your friend. We're so happy that you two found each other. The day is finally here. The day we get to profess our love in front of all the people that matter most to us. We built this love of ours on trust, compassion, endless laughs, and communication. What more could anyone ask for? You are my soulmate, best friend, and one true love. A soulmate is someone who loves you with so much conviction and so much heart it is nearly impossible to doubt just how capable you are of becoming exactly who you have always wanted to be. I truly believe this is what we do for each other. Now let's get married. I'll love you forever, Charles. Dr. Seuss of all people said, you know you're in love when you can't fall asleep because reality is finally better than your dreams. When asked Chelsea and Max to describe when they knew they were falling in love. In separate messages, they both get identified at the same time. In May of 2015, they decided to go to the Sasquatch Music Festival in Washington State. On the last day of the festival, the sun was setting over the canyon. Standing together at the top of the venue, just admiring the scenery, Max turned to Chelsea and said, I'm in love with you. Chelsea turned, smiled ear to ear and said, and I'm in love with you too. 
After some kisses and hugs and much happiness, they enjoyed the rest of the day and the trip with permanent grins on their faces. We've had some pretty magical moments together over the last five years, more than we can count. From Sasquatch to Austin to the Redwoods, all the hiking and skiing, and just our simple walks through Cheeseman with Tika. It really doesn't get any better than what we've had together. And yet, look at us now, on the side of a mountain with all of our friends and family getting married. <laughs> I guess it does get better. <laughs> But it's not our surroundings or our experiences that have made us so good together. It's you and me. And there's always been something very special about us. And I vow to invest in it, nurture it, pick it up when it's down, and to never take it for granted. I am thankful for that beautiful trip we took to Sasquatch that showed us what we knew in our hearts to be true. I am thankful for my schooling in Austin that made us grow together and apart and taught us even more about each other. But mostly I'm thankful that for all of the detours, speed bumps, and paths I took brought me to you. The man with the biggest heart, the man who can always make me laugh, the man with endless amounts of drive and determination, the man who looks at me like I'm the most beautiful woman in the room. Yeah. <laughs> the one who is level-headed when I am not, which happens all the time. <laughs> As you always tell me, we aren't lucky, we are blessed. And uh, there is no doubt that I am truly blessed to walk this life with you. I vow to be your support system and best friend through everything life throws at us. I promise to encourage you and lift you up when you are down. And I promise to always remember that in the end, it's you and me in the middle of it all. This is the happiest day of my life. Thank you for being exactly who you are and for loving me exactly as I am. You make me a better person every day and I couldn't ask for a better partner. You make my dreams come true. I love you. Chelsea, you have the biggest heart and you really embody compassion and you've always been a woman with strong moral values and a fierce supporter and defender of your friends and family. And Caroline and I are beyond proud to call you our friend and sister. I, I must say that this is a perfect couple if there ever is such a thing. Um, we have known from the very beginning that you guys truly were meant for each other. And uh, these guys go together like peanut butter and jelly. And now, by the power vested in me by Chelsea and Max, <laughs> I am honored to pronounce you husband and wife. Max, you know what to do. <laughs>
have made our night official. It wouldn't be right if you all weren't here, every single one of you, and we love you so, so much. One thing I will say is that there are three words that I've been waiting to hear for a long time coming from your family, and I'm ready. I just can't thank all of you enough for being there for us and being family and friends and it just means more to us than you'll ever know. In honor of my dad tonight, I'd like us all to just be grateful, be present, and love each other. He really wishes he could be here, so let's just have fun in his honor.